Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode. So in the last one I sort of left off on a weird um, uh, point because these are a few missions sort of strung together. Um, pretty decent sort of like length missions as well. So I'm going to carry on from this bit here. So I think uh, we've just attacked the Braithwaite Manor. And we are sort of, yeah, heading over to uh, Shady Bell to free up that place, because that's going to be our next base. Uh, anyway, if you could leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, that would be great, and would be amazing. Um, yeah, <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's uh, get on with it, shall we? But I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> For nothing. No, no. Not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing... It's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and... Murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something, something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here, make sure that they leave. And John, 
We'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot offer. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay? Where do you think I'm going? Follow me. I know the way. Okay. Go on. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drove right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Mosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. All right, should be just down this path to the left here. So you was just talking about something? I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. That's it up ahead. That sounds Four very philosophical. We're moving up in the world. Was we ever what we thought we was? Yet. Come on, the sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure I know. Ah, I don't want two guns. All right. Again. Let's leave what? the horses here and take a look. Why is this why is this a regular thing? I just wanna there you go. Don't need the shotgun, I think. No, you never know. Shotgun might be better oh, for this. Shit. It's them again! Uh oh. Boys! Get ready! Damn it! Still some here! I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check that house. You can Watch out here. Come on, you no good racists. Where are you? That's one racist down. Well, two if you count the guy out front. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Who the hell do you think you are? Come out with your hands up. You can still walk out. Oh! Coming for you. I knew you'd come soon enough. You are some of the coward like you. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. How's it looking up there? Well, I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? 
Oh, that saved me the bullet. What are you doing, Arthur? I'm coming down, you fool. Give me a second. Bloody hell. Alright. Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Well, yeah, if he had a miracle tonic, so not only was he a racist, but he was an idiot as well. In? Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Dump the body in the swamp around the jetty. All right. Oh god, All right. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to okay. jump into the water. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan, guide them in. God damn it, Arthur. Why would you say that? Why would you say, oh yeah, I can do the I can do the rest of these? It's like, no! Don't do that. You'd think I would, you know, you'd just throw them from the balcony, wouldn't you? And just, you know, pile them up down below and so you wouldn't have to keep traipsing corpses through the house, but, yeah. Whatever. Plus, these bodies aren't moving very far. So when they get you, there's just gonna be a pile of bodies in the river. They'll be like, what happened? They'll be like, nothing. Nothing happened whatsoever. Nothing to worry about or be concerned about. Welcome home, all you, to uh, my humble abode. We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. Hey. George? Yes. Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Now we finally get to go into Saint Denis. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. That's a major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. And what about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, We'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. What a lovely place. Ah, industry. Can't fault it. Okay, there she is. 
A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Sound Denny. Let's just pronounce it how it's spelled, truly, and call it Saint Dennis. We are now in Saint Dennis. What the hell? Uh, huh. Oh God! What they do? Oh, hey, fair enough. The dog's fine. That's uh, all right. That terrified me. Then, uh, where am I going? Where am I going? What am I doing? Let's check. Okay, so... Angelo Brown Day. Let's go find Angelo Brown Day. Where am I? Like, that looks promising over here. There we go. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Oh yeah, this could only go well. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty now little over French here. secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <coughs> excuse I'm sorry, me. please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Sure. Much, you know Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure, that's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister. If I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Alright, that's a lead. Oh, hey, friend. You, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Immigrants are not to be trusted. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You are Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? 
Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. What? I'm so... Uh, uh, there you go. Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where does he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Get going. I wonder what ha what's happening with that court. Because that is... A weird... I don't know what's happening there. I'm assuming it's because the satchel is not there, but... Yeah. You'd think they would have programmed it not to... You know, act out like that. Like, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what's happening with that court. <laughs> it can't... Verbalize it. It's weird. You give that back! I'm almost out of uh, stamina here. Almost. Come on, Arthur, drink something. Uh, do I have anything? Yeah, okay. Got a little. How are you? Uh, miracle tonic. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fool. Oh, come on, Arthur. How would you trip on an apple? Mm. What's the problem, friend? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. Kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Ah. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. You don't like no one, mister. 
Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. My pleasure. Is my horse anywhere near? I think it's from like the way I'm going, so. Uh, uh. What the hell? Hey, there it is. Watch out! My trusty horse. Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Oh, Arthur. That journal of yours must be a very interesting read. Uh, right, let's go see Dutch. Out of the way! So, still haven't done... I assume it's around this point, the night of debauchery mission happens. Uh, which I need to do to get the, the map revolver. So, yeah, let's go see Dirch and push on with the main quest, the main story. I have got another mission by there. Which I'll probably get around to doing at some point. But I'm not going to go rush to do it. God, how far is this? Oh, there it is. It's fine. about this guy? Not much, just see some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. 
Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Yeah, they're coming out in force now. Oh well, new first Dutch. I'll bring up the rear. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. You all look like such delightful people. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that the barest woman <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know, you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, 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 so how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy, I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile, so maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Okay. Hey, robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good. Holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? 
We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. Must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Why are you messing with me? But why are you messing with me? Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Arthur! What? Alright, yeah. Alright, girl. Fair enough. Why are you why are you my what what are you doing? Oh my god. Why don't you try going straight? I, I didn't even hitch my horse. Alright, whatever. Search the cemetery for the grave robbers. Yeah, that's right. Go find them, boy. Well, they can't be far. Let's keep going. Stop. To drink. Your friend died. No, right. that was uh, that was a false, us, you know. false one. Uh, still get out of here, Mister. It ain't safe. Yeah, I'll just wander around until like, I come across them by accident. That tends to be how this happens. There you go. I think I wrote this. Damn it. How many you think? Three, four, or the tap? Let's whip. You should pay Mr. Bronte. Careful. They'll leave us out in the open. Can't see worth a damn. Ah. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> oh, oh, wow. No doubt. You're right. I'm fine. You can hardly 
No, I want my hat. Okay, what guns have I got? Okay, these are my guns, cool. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. All right, it's that way. Okay. I hope this is going to be like quick. This is going to be <laughs> sort of like really difficult to sort of find. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped. No wait, hang on. Is that over here? No. We Somewhere. can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it. Ah, oh, there we go. No, of course. I think there might be something in here. That's not much of a stash, is it? Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Let's go around the side. You could climb that if you really wanted to. There's someone coming. Hide. I found a body. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here! Stay close. Come on, Marson. No, I can't get through the door. I can't get through the gate. Okay, cool. Oh, God. Imagine that. Get through all that. Just get stuck because I keep running past the gate. It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. <laughs> Let's just do? see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we just see where we're at once we got Jack. And then wander over to the gate. Be like, yo, I killed those guys, guy. Well, let me in. You took your time. Where's your host? Ha! Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, Thank Mr. Bronte. 
You all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Miss Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! There. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Where are we going? <laughs> All right. There you go. Let's cool. Get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm. I'm sorry. Papa what Bronte. For? for that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box, and lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa deal with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Prompte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Uh, cheer up, John. It could be worse. You know, you might not have had him back. So what if he's had a two pairs of slippers, spaghetti, and a bath, and ice cream? Did he mention ice cream? I'm sure he mentions ice cream. And that goes to show just how much attention I was kind of paying to that conversation. Son, everything. We got him, Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. All right. Well, they're having a little party, but I'm going to co cut this uh, short. Well, I say short. It's gone on for like nearly, nearly an hour. That last mission was a lot longer than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be like a 10 minute thing. It was like 20 something. It's been like 20 minutes. Um, if you guys could leave a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button. I know I've said it before, but I'll say it once more. You know, that would be great. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope you've enjoyed the commentary. Um, 
it's a different sort of way of doing commentary. I've got a new headset and I'm using like Audacity on the laptop and so on from this point on. I took a little break from doing this because uh, I was doing God of War, which is already up on my channel. If you want to check that out, there's both a walkthrough with commentary and without. This is going to be you know, obviously with full on with commentary, but there is a without commentary one I did when the game first came out. Uh, if you wait for the end screen as well, you will get two suggestions for stuff on my channel that you might like to check out. For now, though, that is pretty much it. So until the next time, do look after yourself and do take care and do carry on gaming. See you next time.